Survival games have been an all-time favorite of mine, whether it's in VR or on desktop. Games like Minecraft, The Forest, Ark Survival Evolved, even games like Seeking Dawn in VR and such. The best part is the building and the ability to take care of your character so that you can survive as long as you can. The survival aspect and being able to live throughout the game. Yet, I've never encountered a more in-depth title than Green Hell and its desktop counterpart. But this time, it's coming to VR. Now before going any further into the video, if at any point you enjoy this video, do not forget to hit the like button as it helps me fight the pesky Amazonian tribesmen called the YouTube algorithm and it gets this video to others just like yourselves. If you want to see more VR related videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to set that bell to all to be notified of all my videos. Now let's traverse the Amazon. So Green Hell on desktop is a wonder of its own really. The survival aspect is just surreal. Truly a realistic and hardcore survival simulator, essentially. The, the features being the monitoring of your nutrients, like carbohydrates and, you know, protein, everything. Water. Uh, you, you, you have to be aware of what's going on with your body and, you know, all the creatures that inhabit the Amazon. You are to use all of your knowledge to survive the jungle and to take every precaution possible. Not only are you needing to be wary of the creatures though, but the tribesmen that inhabit the Amazon, they're a force to be reckoned with as well. And Green Hell makes the Amazonian forest a spectacle with its vast fauna and flora, while also being, well, as you might expect from the Amazon forest, deadly. The environment changes as the weather does as well, as you would expect. It's the Amazon rainforest. Uh, and originally the game was released in September of 2019, but three years later, Green Hell VR was announced and is now playable in a demo for the Steam Fest event. Now, Green Hell in VR looks stunning from the trailers alone, but also playing it and actually having to do the actions of which you would have to click and press with its previous incarnation, it's just <laughs> simply breathtaking. The crafting is easy and doable and actually a unique one that I've never seen before, honestly. Uh, the interactions with the environment seem real, like you actually have to interact with the environment to, well, you know, get resources. I believe it to be a staple in terms of survival games, and once it's in VR, the bar will just get bigger for developers from this title. The gameplay is the most immersive survival experience even more so than games like The Force VR. But just like The Force VR, but at least this is with the demo, there are some things that need to be fixed, which I'm absolutely positive the Green Hell developers will achieve before its release. First and foremost, the optimization for the performance. It's definitely a killer in terms of frame time for the GPU and CPU. Uh, I had FPS VR running as I was going through what I could in VR, and 95% of the time, both spectrums were in the red or in the orange, mainly the red. <laughs> I had to stop the demo at one point because my CPU was in the red for a great chunk of the time and I was stuttering and my head started to get fried. So I needed to take a break. Yet getting over the performance issues within it, uh, the only other criticism I had were the bugs, which is obviously gonna happen. It's a demo. I mean, why would you not expect bugs in the demo? But because of these bugs, I personally couldn't complete the demo as by the time I would try to figure it out a fix for those bugs, my computer would scream at me to settle the fire that green hell was causing. <laughs> the only other thing I would love to see is finger tracking with the index controllers. There are some other quality of life things that I would like to see, but I think green hell pretty much covers it all, at least most of them. So I'm not really too worried about it. And I feel like, again, this is a demo. I feel like they're not even close to being done. So I'm, I'm excited for the end product. Let's just say that. But green hell VR seems very, and I mean very promising. Crafting and the structure building is even more unique than its desktop counterpart, but the interactions with the environment is what really got me even more excited. Messing with the machete and the backpack were great, but what was more satisfying than that was the collection of flint and using said flint to, you know, ignite the fire and even acquiring the rope from the trees. Come on, let's Mia, not there's ourselves. more important things You're at hand. Look at this. If anyone can communicate with them, it's yeah because you can like grab it and it looks like you're actually trying to pull it off i don't know how cool that is but it's cool to me so the amazon is just very interactable and that alone makes this experience a wild one one that i can't wait for when it's released upon us i surely can't wait for it like this this is big i think i think this is gonna be great especially for future vr content 
or your games, I should say, in terms of the survival aspect. Because there are plenty of survival games out there like Seeking Dawn, but it's just not there. It's not realistic, I guess. There's, it's not immersive enough, I suppose. The Forest VR is actually pretty close to that bar that I have in my head, but Green Hell VR just seems a bit, a bit more than that. And I'm a-okay with that. And as I stated earlier, I believe Green Hell will make that staple into the VR scene with its survival aspects because the immersion is just too great to ignore. Having to actually pick off leeches or heal yourself, bandage yourself with your own two hands, it's just awesome. I, I, that sense of realism is beyond me. I truly cannot wait for it to be available for people who want to play it and maybe help make a series out of it who knows or help play, play with friends chase gramsy shinobi Knight, you're around i've been waiting for this since they announced the game around october of last year 2021 because i just couldn't think that it would actually be a thing i thoroughly enjoyed the desktop game with its you know as i said truly hardcore experience but imagining it in vr felt a bit too unreal so i was curious to see where they would take this project and this demo that unreal thought is just getting here to reality ever so slightly and i guarantee you you will see me come back to this title when this adaptation is released i i, I want to play it i just want to play it. that's all i can really say i have nothing but high hopes for green hell vr I, it's kind of biased, this, this sense of uh, feeling that I have currently, but I don't know. I just, I thoroughly enjoy Green Hell, so I'm excited for it to get here. Now, by the time this video is released, you will have two days left to try Green Hell VR for yourself. So try it if you dare, but again, beware with the performance issues, but it is amazing now i want to take a small portion of the video to thank my patrons for supporting my channel the names on screen so much love to you truly mean the world to me thank you so much now if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button so this can get to more viewers just like yourselves and it helps me survive in the amazon called the youtube algorithm if you're interested in other vr content as well as other hilarity be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of all my future videos and again make sure it's set to all because you know youtube doesn't tell you anything and if you want to speak with me and my fellow souls, go to the Soul Chamber, my Discord server. There you will also be notified and up to date with my content. So, come on, let's chat it up. Whether it's about anime, art, or anything VR, hell, let's talk about Green Hell. I'm okay with that. And one last thing, though, is to keep your soul free. I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Jasmine, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit. Bitch, I hurt my leg.